Well, you know, there's um, a hotline that Sundance has, put, Sundance has put out a statement with a hotline that you can call if you need to report um, behavior. And that's the first time I've ever seen anything like that at a film festival. So I feel like um, hopefully it is permanent change. It does feel like there is some movement. Um, I, you know, uh, Hillary Clinton's famous quote of women's rights are human rights. Um, I, I hope that that extends in both directions. Um, you know, I think that part of what really inspired me about the Women's March last year was the diversity of signs I saw that people weren't just marching because we have um, a sexual predator in the White House, um, but also marching because that's a person who threatens um, the lives of immigrants and, um, you know, the dreamers and the lives of um, LGBTQ people. Um, so, uh, you know, I saw signs for the environment last year. Um, and I, I think that the intersectionality and the sort of like wide umbrella of this movement uh, really extends to all people. Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, I'm rehearsing a play in London at the moment at the Royal Court Theatre and, and Vicky Featherston, who's the artistic director there, uh, when this movement began last year, um, really led the charge in terms of theatre and, and she uh, and now there's a code of conduct and, and everyone has to read it on the first day of rehearsal um, and it's about six pages long and it says what's expected in the workplace and what to do if that isn't upheld and um, in just that you know having that as a document that's been worked out and everyone who comes into that building knows that that's what's expected from them that's a palpable change and I think you know, I think that if you came into a film set on day one and you were given that and every person in the room sat down and read that and we all, you know, I think it's a case of, uh, yeah, of being on the same page from day one now going forward.